PV is an Excel financial function that returns the present value of a loan or investment based on a constant interest rate. You can use PV with either periodic constant payments such as mortgage or other loan or a future value that's your investment goal. Here is the syntax. Rate, the interest rate per period. If you make yearly payments, enter an annual interest rate. If you pay monthly, specify a monthly interest rate and so on. The rate argument can be supplied as a percentage or a decimal number. NPER, the total number of payment periods in an annuity. PMT, the payment made each period and cannot change over the life of the annuity. If PMT is omitted or zero, you must include the FE argument. FE, the future value or a cash balance you want to attain after the last payment is made. If FE is omitted, it is assumed to be zero. The future value of a loan, for example, is zero. Type the number zero or one that indicates when payments are due. Zero or omitted default. Regular annuity where payments are made at the end of a period. One annuity due where payments are made at the beginning of a period. Make sure that you are consistent about the unit of measure you use for specifying rate and NPER. The PV function can be used to calculate the present value of a loan when the interest rate, payment and number of periods are known. For example, find the present value of a 5-year loan with an annual interest rate of 4.5% and annual payments of $5,000. PMT is a negative number since this money is paid out. Use this formula to calculate the present value. Type is omitted so it is regular annuity where all payments are made at the end of the year. You can also use type equal to zero for regular annuity. To keep the payment as a positive number, put the minus sign before the PMT argument. An annuity due is a repeating payment made at the beginning of each period instead of at the end of the period. To calculate the present value with the PV function, use this formula. Set the type argument to 1. Payments are mostly made weekly, monthly, quarterly or semi-annually. Investment or loan term is defined in years and rate is annual interest rate. In these situations, it is very important that the rate and NPER unit of measure must be consistent. To convert an annual interest rate to a periodic rate, divide the annual rate by the number of periods per year. For example, for monthly payments, periods per year is 12. So rate equal to annual interest rate by 12. To get the total number of periods, multiply the term in years by the number of periods per year. For quarterly payments, periods per year is 4, so number of periods is equal to number of years multiplied by 4. For a monthly payment of $1,000 for 10 years with an annual interest rate of 9%, use this formula to calculate present value. Use absolute reference for annual interest rate and number of years so that the formula can be copied down. Periods per year is 12. Rate is calculated by dividing annual interest rate by 12. NPER is calculated by multiplying number of years by 12. The same formula calculates the present value for quarterly and other periods. Copy the formula down. Present value is calculated for other periods. To calculate the initial investment required to reach $75,000 in 5 years with an annual interest rate of 9%, use the PV function. Future value FV is $75,000. The interest rate is 9% annually, which is compounded yearly and with no additional payments. PMT argument is omitted because it's a single investment without additional periodic payments. The result of the PV formula is negative because it's an outflow. That is the money you are investing now to earn a certain amount in the future. To compare the effect of different compounding periods, convert the rate and NPER accordingly. For example, compare the initial investment required to reach $50,000 in 10 years with an annual interest rate of 9%. 
Type the number of compounding periods per year in cells B2 to B5. Enter this formula. Use absolute reference for rate, number of years and investment type so that the formula can be copied down. Rate is calculated by dividing annual interest rate by the number of periods per year. Number of payments per period is calculated by multiplying number of years by number of periods per year. Enter 0 for NPER. Copy the formula down. Present value is calculated for different compounding periods. As the compounding periods increase, the initial value decreases. Calculate the present value of an annuity that pays $10,000 per year for 25 years with an annual interest rate of 7%. Use this formula. Omit FE and type for regular annuity. With an annuity due, payments are made at the beginning of the period instead of the end. To calculate present value for an annuity due, use 1 for the type argument. To download practice excel file, please click on the link in the description. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.